Hello again, beautiful artists, and welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with Sky. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sky, and I post beginning level acrylic tutorials here on YouTube every Saturday. So hit subscribe if you'd like to join the fun and paint along. Hit the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. So, in celebration of Pride Month, I thought it would be fun to, rather than just doing a flag, instead to do something a bit more stylized. So I came up with the idea of doing a flower, a Pride flower, a rainbow sunflower. Uh, it's going to be really simple. I'm going to take everyone through it every single step of the way. And it'll be a really fun way to celebrate Pride or just kind of celebrate any time of year and just celebrate rainbows because it's such a pretty color combination and it's one of my personal favorite color combinations too. So looking forward to this. I have a full rainbow of colors on my palette uh, to use. So I have a black and white, ultramarine blue, phthalo green, yellow, red, and a little bit of a burnt sienna type brown. And then I have my three standard brushes that I use in most classes. So I have a large square wash brush, a medium sized pointed brush, and then this nice new detail brush that I just got. I'm gonna go ahead and put those in my water cup off the side of the screen. If you'd like to see a materials list of everything that I use, uh, go ahead and check the description box below. It'll take you to a materials page on my website and show you everything you need to paint along. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to use my small brush to start. And we're going to create uh, sort of like a sketch of our flower shape. So we're gonna jump right in with something that's a little bit tricky, um, but this is gonna be really easy to kind of tweak once we start to fill things in. So let's go ahead and we're gonna use a color uh, that we're going to have for our background color. So in my case, I'm gonna have like a periwinkle blue so I'm gonna take this pretty ultramarine blue and mix it with some white. Okay, a nice light blue. You can go even lighter because a light colored sketch line is going to be easier to cover. I'm going a little bit darker so that everyone can see. Okay, little bit of water always in the paint helps it go nice and smooth and it look it matches my fingernails perfectly <laughs> okay i'm going to do a circle here it's going to be the center part of my sunflower and i'm going to sort of center that here on my canvas it doesn't need to be perfect though off center slightly is going to be just fine as well and now i'm going to go from the top part here and create a petal that comes right from the top and then I like to go out from either side next and then sort of in between. And that's an easy way for me to nicely space out my petals. Okay, and we'll do ones in between here as well, like so. And if you start small with these petals, it's easy to just bring that sketch line out a little bit further, like so, and kind of adjust as we go. And I'll just keep the outer sketch line once we start to fill in. Okay, right there in between. Nice, long, graceful petals curve on either side here. Make sure and have a nice big flower. That is the focal point. We want to have lots of space so that we can do our beautiful rainbow gradation. Okay, and again, that's a little small. But I'm starting small so that I can bring it further out. Okay, lovely. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my biggest brush. And with that same pretty background color, and maybe a pinch more white, I'm going to come into these background areas and just bring that color to that outermost sketch line that you, or the sketch line that you're keeping. 
Okay, just bringing that color down to all the little peekaboo places that you would see it. Just like so, all around the sketch line. A little bit more white in there. A little bit of texture looks nice. You could even do a different background color, it does not need to be blue. Just using that brush almost like a sponge, all the different directions here. Okay, and don't worry too much about getting any background color on your petals because we're starting sort of from the background and going from the foreground here. Just give ourselves a nice little sketch to start. That looks nice. I like how there's like variation within the tone of the color. So in some areas it's darker, in some areas it's lighter. I think that looks nice. Adds a little bit more interest. Okay, and that's looking good. Now I'm gonna grab my medium size brush. And just with white, I'm going to come in here and just sort of clean up those edges slightly. Just so I have a nice white surface to start my gradation and not too much blue or background color. Okay. Just sort of like priming the surface. There we go. Lightening it up a little bit so that it's easy to cover with our colors. Okay, that's fine, looks good. All right, now let's start our gradation. This is gonna be so pretty and so fun. We're gonna start with red just by itself. And I'm gonna come right here towards the center, right around that circle that I drew. I'm going to start pulling that color up into the petal. Like so, and you wanna go a little bit further than you might think because we're going to have some nice dark shadow here at the base later. So a little bit extra red. Then the other color sort of a uh, segment lengths. Already looking so pretty. And just being graceful and light handed with my brush. No color mixing required yet. Since we are working with acrylic paints, I'm moving pretty quick because you don't want the paint to fully dry, kind of in between each color step here. So you wanna get some blending happening between each layer but I don't want anyone to stress out too much about getting the gradation perfect once we get there, because I have a feeling that this is gonna look really pretty, kind of if you just fill it in with rainbow in any way. <laughs> so don't worry and just go with the flow and have fun with it. Okay, that looks pretty. Now I'm gonna grab some yellow and mix that in with the red and that's going to give me orange. And with this orange, I'm gonna come right along the red and just blend the two together, just like so. And you wanna have a nice strip of orange, so you don't wanna carry too much red into that section. 
So you may need to wash your brush in between because in the blending process, it's going to, of course, blend. Light-handed, coming out to cover that sketch line. It's a little bit too yellow there. There we go. But we're going to add yellow in a minute as well. Okay, I'm just coming back through and making that all look nice and consistent. Okay, that's looking good. And just taking our time and working on each individual petal, which might seem like a lot, but it's the whole painting, really. So you're going to be focused in on each of these petals, and then all of a sudden, you're going to be done. So enjoy the process. Okay, look at those pretty gradations. Very nice, creating that red-orange in between. If you'd like to learn more about color theory, I actually have a course on color theory, and it's called Color Theory 101 for the Beginning Acrylic Artist. And it is on Udemy and Skillshare. There's links in the description box below for it. And it will teach you all about how to blend colors, how to create color combinations, and how to use the color wheel to do so. And you actually paint your own color wheel, and then we have a special project. And then there's another project where we do tints, tones, and shades, and learn how to create neutrals. And then you go through some vocabulary. That's just really handy for beginner artists. So check that out. Since we're doing a rainbow painting, we got a lot of color blending happening today. Okay, look at how pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna grab some yellow, just as it is. I'm gonna put that right along the orange and we're just working our way down the rainbow here. We're not worrying about it being perfect. I'm not worrying about it being mostly dry, so I'm not getting that consistent of a blend. That's okay. I think it's going to look really cute. Anyway. Okay, only some of these petals are going to show the full rainbow because some of the petals off the side here are going to be sort of cropped. I'm just working my way down through all my petals here. Pulling up a little orange. Don't be shy about going into that area and blending the two together. Okay, looking good. Graceful brush strokes. It's all gonna matter in the end. We really, really want to be conscious about the direction that our brush stroke is going in this painting, especially. I see that in a lot of classes, but each brush stroke really does need to go into the shape of the flower here. And that's how you're gonna get that nice blend that even if it's not that consistent, is consistent with its brush stroke directions. That's what's gonna look good there. A little bit of clean yellow in some of these areas real quick. Just before I move on to my next color, which is going to be green. But I have my phthalo green here. I'm gonna sneak it into my yellow. And I'm gonna create sort of like a vibrant grass green. And that might even be a little bit too dark. So I'm gonna sneak in a little bit of white. And then right along that yellow, just taking the green into it a little bit. and then pulling it the rest of the way down our pretty little petal. Nice. Okay, and then we'll probably be 
off the edge over here with our green and that's just fine and if you bring your green too far into your yellow you can add some yellow right back on top so keep that in mind if your paint dried too quickly you can come right back in there with any of the colors that you need to help you along the way okay moving right along next petal over here we're almost done only just a few more colors pulling it into the yellow just going back and forth real lightly flick of the wrist there okay and just again be mindful of the direction that your brush is going and hopefully you've saved room for blue and purple because we got two more colors left but we can kind of adjust things if needed okay very cute and now a little bit of blue let's add some white into our blue and I'm gonna go right along my green and I have just the end of my petal there left for my purple which is perfect going off the edge here very nice pulling it into the blue just being mindful with my brush stroke direction and again rinsing my brush in between any color if i need to very nice gotta trust the process here these remind me of those rainbow popsicles from like the 80s and 90s they might still be available i'm just i'm an adult now but I used to have them when I was a little kid. Let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about and what that's called. <laughs> Rocket Pop, something like that? Just realized. Okay, super cute. And now just a little bit of purple. And just bring my red over into my blue and pull a little bit of white in as well and create a quick purple. I'm gonna bring the purple all the way into the very end here of the petal. Very nice. Okay, and even just a little bit of purple on some of your petals is gonna get that rainbow look. So don't worry if there's not very many tips of petals showing in this that's okay okay look at that so fun all right now we have our nice rainbow gradation so cute let's go ahead and fill in the center now of our sunflower I'm gonna grab my brown and mix it with a little bit of black. I'm going to take that dark brown color and we're going to fill in that whole circle with that sort of base brown color. You want to bring that brown all the way out to touch the petals so that you don't have any gaps there. Okay. 
And again, you want to be mindful of your brush stroke direction. So in this case, we're here in a circle. So we're going to fill it in in a circle. Brown and black together. A little bit of water helps as well. It's always my favorite part of doing a sunflower. It's the center part. I feel like it just kind of pulls everything together. And it's just satisfying to bring it out to touch the petals and make everything look consistent with this layer. Okay, that looks nice. Just getting all my brush strokes going in that same circular direction. Okay, and then I'm gonna take some black just by itself. And I'm gonna do a black line kind of right in the center. Blend it a little bit into the brown in either direction. And then I'm going to take black again and just darken the outside edge and also blend that slightly. Okay, let's hop back to our petals now for a minute and we'll go ahead and sort of finish everything off. Um, actually, first let's go ahead and do some little curly cues just for fun. I'm gonna take some green with my small brush. And in just a few areas, I'm gonna have a cute little spiral if you want, I think it adds a nice little something, something. And there can even be dual spirals like so. Okay, that looks good. Going to come in there and just kind of finesse those a little bit and make that line a little bit more solid. Okay, there we go. Just like so. I like using this new small brush. Nothing like getting yourself a new brush. Okay. Very pretty. Now I'm going to grab some black and I'm going to do a few things with this black. So the black and white, in my opinion, really pulls this painting together. We have all of these colors now. We're going to do some really high contrast kind of details, shadows, and highlights. I'm going to outline each of my petals with the black. And you kind of want to go on the outside here so that you fill in more of the empty space rather than overlapping into the petal. Okay, on either side here, around each petal, and we're going to do a few other things with this black as well. But we're just kind of refining the shapes right now. The smaller the brush you have, the easier this is going to be if you are new to painting. And then here from the center, I'm gonna pull a few lines out as like a real dark shadow right at the base, like so. And we're gonna have a nice solid line on the outside of our circle. And then even a few lines through our petal to sort of give that petal definition. I'm also going to go around my little green curly cue guys. And just tracing either side here. And then a few brush strokes from the center pulling up.
and along the shape of the petals. A little bit of water into the black always helps it go nice and smooth. Okay, being light handed as I can, but again, this is a very stylized painting. And we're just having fun. So don't worry too much if your lines end up pretty thick, that's all right. It's stylized. You meant to do it. That's what you'll tell everyone. If you are painting along, I would love to see your art. I've created a Facebook group called the Art Club specifically for this purpose. We'd love to see your art, whether it be from painting along with me or just from your own studio or imagination. There's a link to join that in the description box below as well. It is a really fun and supportive group. It's really fun to see everyone's paintings. It's the best part of my day. I love the feedback that I get from everyone. So thank you if you are painting along. Okay, and home stretch here, everyone. I really think this is just pulling it together nicely. Even though it's a little bit heavy handed. My version when I'm teaching is never quite as pretty. Or as neat, I suppose. As the one that I do beforehand. It's kind of like playing guitar and singing at the same time is what I say. I'm pretty good at doing either, but doing them together is a whole other ball game. So thanks for bearing with me, but it's cute. It looks good still. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay, bring in the black next to this little part of green right there. Okay, and I need a few brush strokes through these guys. Just a few brush strokes for each petal. And now a little bit of white, just by itself. We're going to do some highlights in the petals, very similar to the black lines that we just created. Sort of the balance of that. Nice, there we go. Like so. And then a few little highlight marks right along the sort of center where we had our lighter brown. And then with the back of my brush, I'm going to just dip that end in white. I'm going to create some cute little polka dot freckles right along that lighter brown part. And these are just highlights of the sunflower seeds. This is just a really fun and quick way to create sort of some textured circle action really quick like so and the whole face would have seeds but it sort of is concave in the middle it comes down a few seeds there in the center as well and home stretch look at how pretty our rainbow sunflower turned out. I would love to know what you thought of today's painting in the comment section below. And that is all the instruction that I have for everyone today. So happy Pride Month. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay creative.